Okay, moving forward. This is a little bit of a Pittsburgh-centric story, but I felt like it was important to talk about. Uh, the neighborhood I used to live in um, was uh, used to do a lot of uh, event, or I don't know if they did a lot of events, but I know they, they were big in supporting Antoine Rose. If you don't know who Antoine Rose is, Antoine Rose was a, a, a young man, a, 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 a child that was shot in the back by uh, a Pittsburgh East End police officer, um, and uh, the kid was running away, and he got shot in the back several times. Uh, and that cop got acquitted. I was on the road when that happened, and I remember hearing about it, and uh, I remember I remember hearing about it, and then people were people were protesting it. I think they blocked the highways and stuff, or they blocked a portion of 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 the roadway. Uh, they might have done a die-in where where they lay on the streets and pretend to be dead um, in solidarity. And, you know, a bunch of people were like, you're not doing it. And it's like, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a demonstration. We are, they are doing something about it because they got to you. In some way, shape, or form, they, they got to you, you know? Uh, so... I 100% think that it was effective and it worked and it and it and it did what it needed to do. It 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 pointed out to you that there is this massive problem. So and then and then a couple months later he gets acquitted, right? Officer uh, Officer Rossfield, I believe his name is, uh, gets acquitted, and now he's suing his former employer uh, because he was. He was an East End police officer when he shot Antoine Rose, the se- Antoine Rose II. He was a he was an East End uh, police officer. Ah, we're back to this bullshit, and uh, and now he's suing the University of Pittsburgh, which is where he was a police officer before he was uh, in the East End, and it involves this story. Um, it's it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a confusing story, I think, but basically he shows up uh, to a call. Uh, to assist these officers because there were three guys who were causing, uh, you know, some ruckus at a bar or something. And um, he came in and arrested them. There's already cops on the thing. And they sued the, the kids, the, the, the three guys. They, they sued the uh, University of Pitt Police Department. And that lawsuit disappeared, kind of just fell by the wayside because it didn't really make any sense. Uh, for a wrongful arrest, but something went, something happened, and and the way that the story is reported, it it doesn't, it feels odd that we're missing some pieces of of, of the story. Um, the University of Pittsburgh Police Department has not responded to this lawsuit in saying that he was uh, wrongfully terminated, uh, but you know there was an issue, there might have been an issue with the way that he arrested them. Uh, it seemed like there were already officers on the uh, on the scene taking care of things. Um, so I'm not sure as to why this particular officer decided that he was going to be the white knight in trying to fix all this. That seemed uh, particularly strange to me. Uh, but who knows? I might be wrong. I'm not particularly sure. Uh, I wanted to bring this up in the sense of this guy gets acquitted and instead of just kind of going quietly into the night he's putting himself back into the media um, and trying to get some kind of sympathy now I don't think there's a lot of sympathy left for this gentleman this this fella doesn't have a lot of sympathy especially from the black community in Pittsburgh you don't have it friend sorry guy like go Go quietly into that good night. You fucking killed a kid. And now you want to sue them for a weird murky case where you got fired from your last job. Probably for being a bad police officer. I'm getting a little emotional behind this one. But, you know, I, I just feel like it's 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 a very... He's, he's, he's being very opportunistic about the particular 
uh, situation that he's in. There's a lot of negative light, and now he's trying to. Uh, and now it seems like he's trying to use this lawsuit to um, uh, uh, show that he's been a victim in a lot of this, right? Like, oh, I got fired for doing my job. I get, I get, I got pulled into a trial for doing my job. It's like, no, your job is not to shoot kids in the fucking back. So don't try to like garner sympathy from people. By saying, oh, but but the last job I was wrongfully fired. I don't know. It doesn't seem, it seems weird. Why were you there? I'm going to be biased about it a little bit. I I have my bias about him because I think he's a bad person. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably also enjoy my live stand-up comedy, and I have tour dates coming up all across the country. I am coming to uh, Vermont. I'm going to be doing a bunch of shows in Vermont. I'm going to be at the Vermont Law School, uh, Middlebury, Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, uh, Bridgewater, Vermont. Uh, I'm also coming to Rochester, New York. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Huntsville, Alabama, Springfield, Missouri, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Springdale, Arkansas, uh, uh, Denton, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Austin, Texas, and Dallas, Texas. I'm going to be touring all across the country, so if you want to check out those tour dates, grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, uh, you can do so by going to Ramen Noodles Comedy. Dot com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. All of my tour dates are available there. Uh, all of the past episodes of this show, my other podcast, Taboo Table Talk and Forkful of Noodles, are available there as well uh, if you would like to check out more. Uh, and please uh, hit, the, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, uh, get your notifications uh, to get updated when I put out more videos uh if you guys would 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 like to see more videos from me uh obviously uh but uh but videos like this videos that talk about issues that talk about um deeper topics are usually uh not shown to as many people uh as they would so uh it's uh, very dependent on you guys uh hitting that like hitting the subscribe and and sharing it if you can uh if you share this stuff that would be amazing as well Uh, Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video and checking it out. And we'll, uh, we'll see you on the road.